Yo, yo, what's going on? It's TSB, everybody. How's it going? Hey, it's another good video today. You're going to love this one. Check it out. We're doing another install, and this is going to be a good one. So today, we're going to be installing lowering springs. We're going to be doing a little bit more. I'll show you in a little bit, but this is going to be a great summer. This summer right here, we're going to install some parts. We're going to do some canyon cruises. It's going to be pretty awesome. So... The parts that I'm going to be installing today, they include lowering springs, which will actually lower the car and give the car a better center of gravity. But let me show you the parts that I got. All right, here we go. All right. So just like last time, I'm going to go ahead and go over the parts a little bit, show you everything. Um, these parts right here, like I told you, are all for the performance and the uh, actual handling of the vehicle. Now, as a point of reference, just like I did last time, uh, I'm not going to go lie down next to it, but this is an exercise bicycle right here, and these are the parts. Um, I cleared out my exercise room so we can go ahead and get these parts in here and just have them temporarily, but let me go ahead and go over the parts. So in these two boxes right here, we have two Coney yellow struts. In this box right here, I have two Coney yellow shocks, and then in the big red boxes, Obviously, you see that's by a company called Eibach. Um, In the little box of the Eibach, those are the Eibach Sportline lowering springs. And then in the big boxes right here, you have the struts for the front and the rear. Now, these are all going to replace stock parts. These parts are going to help the performance of the vehicle as well as the handling of the vehicle. All right, let me go ahead and I'll show you that in a minute. This car does have performance parts on it already the car that i bought is called the ford mustang performance pack and so the car does have um different springs and different struts in comparison to the original 5.0 that's not the performance pack just the base gt model the parts that i bought are actually going to lower the car an additional 1.5 to 2 inches as well as the struts that i'm going to be putting will actually provide for better handling in turns. Um, not that you'd be going this fast, but just for an example, you know, when you're turning your car, let's say past 75 or 80 miles an hour, and you're turning your car, you want your wheels to stay planted on the ground. Now, my car has an independent rear suspension, and what the struts are gonna do is they're gonna help keep those wheels planted on the road, as well as give you better handling on the turns. The lowering of the car gives the car a better lower center of gravity. Now, the car stands pretty aggressively as is, but the lowering springs are going to help it give a little bit more of an aggressive stance, as well as, again, give it better handling. Now, here in California or in San Diego, we actually drive not only on the track, but we also drive through the canyons. And I can't wait to show you guys some of those videos. But... When you're in the canyons, you want your car to be planted on the ground and you want your car to actually have the best handling possible. So you're not flying off a cliff, right? Okay, so when you're working on your car or when you're making these turns, you definitely want your car to have the best center of gravity and you definitely want your car to have the best um, handling capabilities. So what we're gonna be installing today is actually gonna be doing those type of things, all right? Can't wait to show you what it looks like. Hope we don't wake the neighbors. It's like 6.30 in the morning, so. Thank you. 
on the way to the suspension shop. Had to drop by Wendy's and get some breakfast. They were the closest thing. But I wanted to show you guys what we got going here. So this is the car before I put the lowering springs on it. You can see that wheel gap right there. When I mean wheel gap is right here on the car. The gap between the wheel and the actual fender. We're actually going to close that up. So, just wanted to give you a shot before, and then we'll definitely give you the after. All right. All right, guys, we're here. We're gonna go ahead and unload the Corolla. This is Nick, shout out to SoCal Suspension. This is his shop right here. He's gonna be the one helping me install my springs and my struts today. We're gonna to go ahead and get all this work done and when we're done, this car is gonna look amazing and perform even better. All taken apart. We're gonna get that suspension. Here's the stock suspension right here that we took off. And then this is the lowering springs that we installed so what they did was they disconnected the subframe from the body and they put these springs on and then what's next is they're gonna go ahead and install the suspension right here so we're doing the front and the back you can see right here we got the yellow shocks those are adjustable with the lowering springs good work good work Here's what the um, shocks look like, the rear shocks that they're gonna be installing in the back there. Can't wait, I'm getting excited. This is gonna look good. This right here, this is the rear strut. This is the stock strut. And we're going to be putting on the, you can see the difference right here. This is the stock strut. See, it's pretty thin. And then, coming over here, these are the new aftermarket struts that we're going to be installing. And they're beefy. These barely fit in my hand compared to the other ones. So, this is what we're installing. It's all done. Sitting nice. Look at that. It looks good. Uh, yeah. So we're over here at SoCal Suspension. Big shout out to my guy Chris right here. Chris was the mechanic. He did this, uh, the hard work for me. Um, we found out that the sway bar was a whole lot more difficult to install. So, man, Chris did a damn good job. And the car looks awesome now. So, can't wait to drive this thing, take it out to the canyons, go to Fontana, and see what we could do with this thing. It's my guy Julian over here, San Diego decals. He's hooking us up today. We are getting bannered up San Diego Stangs. It's official, baby. We're part of the club. Shout out to Julian. Thanks for your hard work. Yeah. Gonna make us look clean. We roll together. This is the family right here. Yeah, a lot of money, so. I know. <laughs> There it is, sealing it in. Big shout out to Eddie, setting this up. 
pity. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, that's going on the YouTube. <laughs> I like this guy. I like me too, man. Cut <laughs> that. Final touches. That's these things. This color is called the charcoal gray. Goes pretty well with the car. The car is the metallic gray. But it's got a nice little pop to it. Get, get low when the whistle goes